is an all-time favorite amongst Peruvians. Papa a la Huancayo. This dish is originally from Huancayo, a city located in the central Andes of Peru. Some of the ingredients required for this recipe may not be found in Ireland. However, we're going to adapt the recipe so all of you can enjoy it with a quite similar flavor. Let's go with the ingredients. Two orange or yellow peppers, 120 grams of feta cheese, one clove of garlic, and a quarter red onion or white onion, whichever you two have. Two tablespoons of oil, four cream crackers, 200 grams of potatoes, any kind of potatoes, 80 milliliters of milk, salt and pepper to taste. And to decorate and serve, we have lettuce, hard-boiled eggs, and black olives. First of all, we're gonna wash the potatoes and we're gonna boil we're gonna them. We're gonna remove the seeds from the peppers and then we proceed to boil them as well. But on a different pot, okay? We don't want to mix them with the potatoes. Potatoes came originally from Peru, where we have over 3,000 different kinds of them. They were brought to Europe by the Spanish conquest. So I guess Peruvian and Irish people have something in common. We both love potatoes. So once this is cooked, we're going to drain it, yes, maybe put some cold water, okay? We don't, we don't want them to be overcooked because we're going to put them again in the pan. A little tiny bit of oil in our pan should be already hot enough, yes. Remember I told you when you see the smoke, that's the right time. Okay, so we're going to put here our clove of garlic and onion, okay? I'm gonna take it a little bit. We're going to saute it, yes, a little bit. After that, we're gonna add our peppers. We're gonna let it um, stir fry, let it saute for a few, just a couple of minutes, not too much. We're gonna let it cool a little bit, okay. And after that, we're gonna blend the rest of the ingredients all together. So once our peppers and onions are kind of cold, yes, we are going to proceed to blend them, okay? We don't need to add anything here yet. Okay, maybe a little bit of oil, but I don't think it's necessary because the peppers are quite soft at this point. We're gonna blend it one more time. At this point, we're gonna add the milk, the rest of the oil, salt, not too much because feta cheese is already kind of salty, so you gotta be careful with that. And of course, pepper. Something that I have forgotten to um, mention at the beginning with the ingredients is that this is a spicy sauce, so it has to have some sort of chili. Any chili sauce you can find. Use this one that I brought directly from Peru, because it has to have that kind of tiny bit of spiciness. Oh, there we go, okay? So we blend it one more time and we're good to go. So our sauce are ready. I want you to have a look at the consistency. Oh, there we go. And look at that color, it's kind of like a yellow like vibrant yellow color mm, delicious have a look at it oh yes all right time to serve it's late in time so we're gonna put one leaf of lettuce beautiful one okay the potatoes guys we usually peel it in Peru we peel them we don't eat the skin like it's up to you actually if you, if you want to eat the skin but I particularly don't this and now it's time to put the one caina sauce. Yeah. Be generous, okay? Because I know you're gonna love this sauce. Uh -huh. Beautiful. It has to cover all over the potatoes, okay? Oops. 
And then we have to put the eggs. This. Yes. And finally, sorry, <laughs> black olives. Okay. And here we go, guys. Our papalawan kaina is ready. However, the sauce can be used for anything. You can serve it with potatoes, with chips, um, cassava chips, with crisps as well, in pasta, absolutely anything. It's excellent to dip. It's served cold and it's delicious. Enjoy guys and see you next time.